Did you know every piece of online content, from text to images, video and audio, is delivered to the end user via network protocols? But what is a network protocol exactly? A network protocol is a set of rules that outline how connected devices communicate over a network. Network protocols use port numbers to identify which application or service is sending or receiving data over a network. A port number is a numerical label that is assigned to a specific protocol or application. For example, port number 80 is usually used by the HTTP protocol, which is responsible for web browsing. Different protocols serve different functions to ensure efficient, quick, and secure network communication. Here are some important networking protocols every IT professional needs to know, and why they matter. TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, establishes a reliable, connection-oriented communication channel. It breaks data into packets, numbers them for proper sequencing, and ensures error-free and in-order delivery. TCP operates on port 80 for regular web traffic, HTTP, and port 443 for secure web traffic, HTTPS. It ensures reliable, connection-oriented communication. IP or Internet Protocol is responsible for addressing and routing data packets across networks. IPv4, the most common version, uses a 32-bit address scheme, while IPv6 employs a 128-bit address scheme to accommodate the growing number of devices. IP itself does not use ports, but protocols running on top of it, such as TCP and UDP, utilize ports for communication. UDP, User Datagram Protocol, offers faster data transfer by emitting the reliability features of TCP. It's suitable for real-time applications like streaming and online gaming, where speed is prioritized over error checking. UDP does not have specific port assignments, as it is connectionless and doesn't establish a dedicated channel before data transfer. ICMP, Internet Control Message Protocol, handles messages and error reporting. Ping, uses ICMP echo request and echo reply messages to check network connectivity, while Traceroute, traces the route packets take to reach their destination. ICMP doesn't use ports in the same way as TCP or UDP. However, certain ICMP messages, like echo request, ping, are commonly associated with port 7 or 8. ARP, Address Resolution Protocol, translates IP addresses to MAC addresses, allowing devices on the same network to communicate. It's essential for mapping logical addresses to physical addresses in local area networks, LANs. ARP doesn't use ports as it operates at the link layer of the OSI model and is specific to local network communication. DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, automates the assignment of IP addresses to devices on a network. It dynamically allocates addresses, simplifying network configuration and reducing the risk of address conflicts. DHCP uses ports 67 and 68. Port 67 is for DHCP servers, and port 68 is for DHCP clients during the DHCP handshake process. DNS, Domain Name System, translates human-readable domain names into IP addresses. It operates as a distributed database, facilitating efficient and scalable resolution of domain names to IP addresses. DNS operates on port 53. It uses both UDP and TCP, with UDP being the default for normal queries and TCP used for larger data transfers. FTP, File Transfer Protocol. FTP facilitates the transfer of files between a client and a server. It uses separate control and data connections, supporting various operations like uploading, downloading, and file manipulation. FTP uses ports 20, for data transfer, and 21, for control commands. It operates in two modes, active and passive, depending on the port configuration. HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP is the foundation of the World Wide Web, enabling communication between web browser and servers. It follows a client-server model, with requests from clients and responses from servers. HTTP uses port 80 for unsecured communication between clients and servers.
https hypertext transfer protocol secure https encrypts data transmitted over http ensuring the confidentiality and integrity of information exchanged between the client and server it's widely used for secure online transactions https uses port 443 for secure communication employing encryption to protect data during transmission SMTP Simple Mail Transfer Protocol SMTP is employed for sending and receiving email messages. It defines the rules for mail transfer between servers, allowing seamless communication in the email infrastructure. SMTP operates on port 25 for unsecured communication. Port 587 is used for encrypted communication, SMTP over TLS, START TLS and port 465 is historically associated with SMTP over SSL. POP3 Post Office Protocol Version 3 POP3 is a protocol used by mail clients to retrieve emails from a mail server. It downloads messages to the client's device, typically removing them from the server. POP3 uses port 110 for unsecured communication and port 995 for encrypted communication. POP3 over SSL, TLS. IMAP, Internet Message Access Protocol. IMAP also enables mail clients to access emails on a server. Unlike POP3, IMAP keeps messages on the server, allowing users to organize and manage their emails across multiple devices. IMAP uses port 143 for unsecured communication and port 993 for encrypted communication. IMAP over SSL, TLS. SSH Secure Shell SSH provides secure remote access to a computer over an unsecured network. It encrypts the communication, preventing unauthorized access and ensuring data confidentiality. SSH operates on port 22, providing secure remote access to a computer over an unsecured network. SNMP Simple Network Management Protocol SNMP facilitates the management and monitoring of network devices. It allows administrators to collect information and manage devices remotely, aiding in network troubleshooting and optimization. SNMP uses port 161 for read-only access and port 162 for read-write access. It facilitates the management and monitoring of network devices. RDP – Remote Desktop Protocol RDP permits users to remotely access and control a computer over a network. It provides a graphical interface for remote interactions, making it valuable for IT support and system administration. RDP typically uses port 3389 for communication, allowing users to remotely access and control a computer over a network. NTP – Network Time Protocol NTP synchronizes the time on devices within a network. It ensures accurate and consistent timekeeping, critical for various applications, including network security and logging. NTP uses port 123 for time synchronization across devices within a network. IPsec – Internet Protocol Security IPsec enhances the security of IP communications by authenticating and encrypting data. It's commonly used in VPNs to establish secure communication channels over the Internet. IPsec doesn't have a specific port but operates at the IP layer, providing security for IP communications through authentication and encryption. ICMPv6 – Internet Control Message Protocol Version 6 – ICMPv6 provides error reporting for IPv6 networks, similar to ICMP for IPv4. It includes functionalities such as neighbor discovery, essential for IPv6 address resolution and network maintenance. ICMPv6 messages do not use ports. Instead, they are identified by specific types and codes within the ICMPv6 header. These protocols are crucial for the functioning of computer networks and enable data communication between devices. Understanding these protocols is essential for network administrators and IT professionals in troubleshooting and managing networks effectively. If still you are here, you are just amazing. Don't forget to share your feedback on the comments below. Thank you for watching.